And I'm about to get on a little trolley and ride over to the island of Pigeon Forge. So let's go check it out. That's the type of trolley that I want to ride. But it looks like I'm just riding a tram style one. And the fun time tram only runs from 8.15 to 11.30 p.m. It's a lot of fun. Goodbye parking lot. Eventually. Very slowly saying goodbye to the parking lot. <laughs> this tram ride reminds me of the little tram you can take in the parking lot of Bush Garden in Tampa to the park. <laughs> and it's really hot today, so it feels like the tram ride that you can take from the parking lot of Bush Garden's Tampa to the park. Checking out this little back street here called Margaret Street. So I do, I think Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg is super cool and super fun. But what I will say, it's, I don't mean it sounds a negative comment, but it's very repetitive. I mean, they have a, like a bunch of the same shops. You know what I mean? Just duplicates of them. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think that's actually somewhat of a benefit. it means you don't necessarily have to go really really far if there's something you really wanted to do meaning like oh what was the name of that like they had like 20 old-time photo stores so you wouldn't have to travel far to get your photo but I've also seen that they got a lot of escape rooms I think this particular escape game though is a franchise I think I've seen the escape game in several different cities across the country What's so special about this old pirate that he can tell all? What does he know that I don't know? Dead men tell no tales? Hmm. Well, those other two, they look like they're going to be future Pirates of the Caribbean titles. Grab the winch and probably want a cracker. Well, look at these pretty guys. It says, do not touch or feed, the birds will bite. Okay, well, they look like they'd take your finger off, man. Look at the size of those beaks. I bet you they'd like some more room to fly around, though. <laughs> Looks like one of the parrots is close to freedom. All it's got to do is take off. Fly away, parrot. Fly away. Oh, kind of. You kind of did it. Come on, man. Flap the wings and jump. Flap the wings and jump. No, no, no. They're just going to put you back in your cage. Oh, wait. They're not looking. Go, 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 go. Freedom. All right. You know what? I feel like you had your chance. You missed your opportunity. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to be back here, but... I found a little spot at the back of the island that you can go out. At least I think you can go out because I'm out here. And it overlooks this little river right here. That's very peaceful. Although I don't know why you wouldn't be able to go out it. I mean, it was just through this open door here. If they don't want you going out there, they should keep it locked. It doesn't say don't go out. <laughs> this looks like a giant butternut squad holding a piece of pizza. And by the looks of all the gears and pieces of metal on the pizza, it looks like the most unappealing piece of pizza I've ever seen. Yeah, they got a little rope course here too. It's $15 to do it. It doesn't seem too bad. I'd get up and go through it, but I don't think they'd let me take this camera. I don't have anything to strap it to myself. But otherwise, I would, man. 15 bucks, not bad. I won't forget to find them. different stuff too. It's not doing very much different stuff right now, but it was a very cool fountain. I'd watch it for hours. Places they got around here. We haven't got a chance to go in one yet though. Well we're going this one. Yeah, let's go in. Oh this place is big. They got all different flavors. They all come in jars. Huh? How much? Know. This one's 50%. This oh one's my goodness. Percent alcohol. The jars are $25 each. So. That's some pretty potent drink. Yeah, I don't really know how much that is. <laughs> you know, like, is that like a fifth or is it its own little? Maybe close to a fifth. Lots of it and lots of different flavors. I'm sweating all day. I like it. Only like $20, but... That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I like it. It's cool. 
you're supposed to eat and then get your shine on. Mm. Have you ever seen clear hot sauce? No. Old smoky clear hot sauce. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I'm kind of annoyed though because they don't have prices on anything other than the t-shirts in this whole place. That's kind of scary. Yeah. This little guy. Looks like he's doing like parrot pull-ups. Go ahead, buddy. Keep keep working out. You're good. You're good. Keep working. No, no, no. There you go. Yeah. It's CrossFit. I came over here to Patriot Park because I he was told I could get on a trolley for 50 cents. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Not this one though, because it's out of service. I got a few minutes before the trolley even gets here. So I thought I'd come over here and scope out this Patriot Park. It's a big, huge grassy field so that's pretty cool I don't really have any big grassy fields like this considered parks by where I'm from so this is really neat I wonder if people fly a lot of drones or just play football or picnic or whatever they do out here it's pretty sad news none of the trolleys are going where I need to go so I'm not gonna get to ride a trolley today that's a bummer I'm like offers on this trip for things that I want to go and ride. Let's see if still got some time in the day though. <laughs> it's time to try my hand at a little go karting, or maybe I'll do putt putt, or maybe I'll do none of it. I don't know, but I'm gonna check it out. There was like ten go kart things up and down the Dollywood Lane or the main Pigeon Forge drag. This one looks pretty crazy. So I'm gonna try this one. One's out, and the last one's in. <laughs> I noticed that. I passed him. I remember so passing him. Well, I, well, I was nervous. Yeah. It's starting to get pretty late here in Pigeon Forge. But I think I'm going to take one last little spin through the old mill district. And they're still running trolleys, too. It says they run trolleys until midnight. I wish they had been going to where I wanted to go, but with some bad luck, I guess. I'm surprised they're still playing music back here, though, even though everything's closed. Oh man, it's just got a real nice, it's like a cypress smell. A real pretty nice walk at night. We've got another distillery back here too. This one's called Old Forge Distillery. They got a lot of moonshine they sell in jars around here. It's like 25 bucks a jar. I think it's a little bit more than a pint. The other thing I noticed about this town is they have a lot, a lot of wine tasting places. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty romantic, right? I mean, an old mill water wheel and 
Got this little tiny little waterfall. Look how peaceful the river looks though out there. What a way to end our little pigeon forge trip, huh? Well, thank you for watching. Take care.